Betsy Mandrioli and John Ferullo come from 495 uh, in the Concord Westford area. They have been solo singer songwriters and they each have their own CDs out in the world, but in their own finding of themselves and the art that they love to do in songwriting and performing, they found each other as well. And they teamed up as duo and perform out often that way. They are known for songs that tell stories of real life, sometimes with humor, sometimes with compassion. And they have brought these songs out to many different communities and lifted the hearts of people around them. Uh, John noted he got started in high school writing songs. He said that he wrote a few stupid rock and roll songs <laughs> in his teenage garage band Real years. Stupid. But he became really inspired when he heard Bill Morrissey for the first time, the singer-songwriter, around in 1984. And he said he liked it the way his songs were stories with real characters. And then he took off after he heard Bill. Likewise, Betsy said her first song was titled Goodbye Loser, <laughs> a pathetic ballad that was more raw venting on my part. But then she began listening to Bonnie Raitt and George Michael, and she began to write less pathetic songs. <laughs> so you can see there's a sense of humor and a humble nature also in the performing of their own music. But they not only went out into the world and shared their songs together as duo, they also uh, join with a third party and have another band that they offer out songs with. And in addition, they decided to take hosting of open mics on. And uh, there have been mm, about three at least of regular ongoing for a number of years open mics that John and Betsy have hosted, some together, uh, some separately. Uh, when one open mic stopped at a bookstore because the bookstore needed to close, they moved it over to the local senior center location to keep it going. So they have brought great joy to open mic community for singer, songwriters, and spoken word artists, and poets, and book lovers at their first one, uh, and cats. <laughs> Uh, there was a cat at the bookstore, and I know that your duo is known as Two Cat Folk. Excuse me? Two Cat, two cat Folk, folk right. right. Yes. Um, and so they bring a lot of joy of music out into the world and of community. And also to mention for Betsy Mandrioli, she's a visual artist as well, and she creates sculptures. I have one that she uh, created for me. Uh, many years ago and surprised me with uh, being a host. And uh, she creates these beautiful trees at the holiday time around Christmas for the Concord Historical Society where they have authors, children's authors of books are paired with artists who make these very large sculptures of trees with animated with all these little sculptures of characters on the children's books. And that is for free. And I know that I've heard how many hours that is. Uh, that she dedicates to community as well. So when I asked, how do we best inspire one another to find and share uh, our art with community, uh, both Betsy and John responded. And John said, I think we inspire each other by being there, listening to each other and supporting each other. If someone is willing to listen, I think one grows in their art because it feels like it has value. And Betsy? chimed in via email. I agree with John and I also think we build on each other's ideas. I have learned so much about songwriting from sharing lyrics and listening to what fellow musicians are writing about. And when I asked both of them separately what their most memorable moments of sharing a song with others in community, it was interesting that both responded to a time where they were performing 
um, out in community and one individual came up, not, not a whole throng, but just one person and said, wow, that song hit me right here. That sounds like my life. That sounds like my story. And thank you so much. And uh, it also led to conversation and getting to know another individual who does not have a voice for singing out or speaking out in some way. And that has been so meaningful to them to carry on the good community work that they do. So with that, I would like to say thank you to Betsy and John. Sure, and you. now uh, ask you to give them a hand as they share some of their own songs with you. Please say hello thank to Betsy you. and John. Well, um, I was laughing when Cheryl was talking about the name of our group, Two Cat Folk, because one time someone accidentally said, Two Fat Folk. <laughs> 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 and that's appropriate, because <laughs> this that next works. song we're going to do is about that. I like to say that I'm really not much of an expert about anything, but there is one subject that I can speak to. If you ask anybody who knows me, they know I've been on a diet all my life unsuccessful diet. <laughs> so I feel like I can talk about this. And I'm sure there's someone in the audience who will understand where I'm coming from. This is called A Heavy Tale. Here's a very heavy tale, perhaps you can relate. It starts with overeating and it ends with overweight. All her life she fought the fight, that battle of the boat. For every diet plan she found permission to indulge. And the fat came back the very same way. The fat came back, the diets made her fatter. And the fat came back, it just wouldn't go away. No, no, no. Away, no, no, no. She thought she found the answer on the Oprah show. A carbohydrate addict revealed her skinny soul. One meal a day of anything all craving satisfied. In record time, she could feel the Twinkies on her thighs. And and the fat came back the very same way. The fat came back, the diets made her fatter. And the fat came back, it just wouldn't go away. No, 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 away, no, no, no. Well, Dr. Atkins passed away from a heart attack. His diet revolution may have prompted that. Who could resist unlimited bacon, eggs, and cheese? I love cheese. After all that grease and fat, she slid to Dairy Queen. And the fat came back the very same way. The fat came back, the diets made her fatter. And the fat came back, it just won't go away. No. From a friend she heard about that famous cabbage soup for breakfast, lunch, and dinner until it made you too much information. She couldn't eat six bowls of soup without a loaf of bread. The swelling from the sodium was mostly in her head. And the fat came back the very same way. The fat came back. The diets made her fatter, and the fat came back. It just wouldn't go away. No, 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 away. No, no, no. Well, I may not be qualified to give out advice, but if you really want it, there's a diet for your vice. Ice cream, popcorn, lemonade, steamed organic kale. Don't be surprised if you gain weight and tell a heavy tale. 
because the fat comes back. Thank you. I could tell you can relate. I'm dying to have some cake, you know, back then. I know, there's lots of, there's good cake too. Mmm, carrot cake. Oh yeah, that's like a vegetable. <laughs> 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 we have a friend named John that we, we play with a lot. He lives in Pennsylvania. He's coming up in a couple of weeks. And his mom used to come all the time. His mom was in her 90s, and uh, she passed away a few years ago. And uh, her name was Marjorie. And she was a poet and a drawer, and she used to send me cards all the time. And this song is kind of about her. She used to love to garden. She had a garden in her house. And um, so it's kind of in her voice a little bit, but... We used to love her, we used to call a nana, everybody called a nana, and she would sit up front, and you could tell how, how well the song was going over with nana, at least, be, by how vertical she was, <laughs> which, which was kind of cool, and uh, we missed her. She was always like a glass half full kind of person. She broke around once and it didn't even bother her. So this is, this is for nana, Marjorie Swenson, you ready? <laughs> Right. Well, the bulbs will nap all winter in the spring poke out their heads. Winter frost can't get them where they sleep. Perennials are special, they have their own new bed. Remember, please, don't plant them too deep. It's a lovely spring day, so now tears beg your pardon. There's a colorful new butterfly in Marjorie's garden. Ooh. A rainy day in April means more flowers come in May. Gardens muddy the trees, sprout leaves. She loves her little garden, even on a rainy day. It's not what you see, it's what you believe. It's a lovely spring day, so now tears beg your pardon. There's a colorful new butterfly in Marjorie's garden. It's a lovely spring day, so now tears beg your pardon. There's a colorful new butterfly in Marjorie's garden. Nana would have loved being here. Yes, she wouldn't have fallen asleep. <laughs> <laughs> we called her Folk Nana. John forgot to mention that. Right. Folk Nana. So here we are at the hub of the marathon, and my thoughts are with the, the tragedy of last year's bombing in Boston. 
And we've been hearing a lot from the victims. You know, they've been on the media talking about how they face their fears and found the courage to go on with their lives. And a lot of them have been talking about the, the community around and the support that they really needed and got from our community. So I thought I'd like to dedicate this next song to them. The song is called Wolf. And wolf is really a metaphor for fear. And it's about facing your fears and finding the strength inside to go on. But it's also about the people who help you get through that, your support system, the people who have your back. There's a wolf who's stuck in you through the woods and what he wants, it ain't no good. Were it up to me, I'd have his hide Cause I am always on your side Oh, he is full of frightfulness You let him in, your life's a mess An inch will give him just enough to make sure you go and survive For you are no red riding hood And wolf is trouble passing through I've heard you growl, I've seen you bite Wolf won't be you in a fight Well, I know he bothers you every night And you can't see him in daylight They say he follows the smell of fear Well, he won't follow your scent here Cause you are no red riding hood And we'll fizz trouble passing through I've heard you growl, I've seen you bite Wolf won't be you in a fight Don't you know I got your back just in case a wolf attacks. I'll make sure his appetite won't be satisfied this time. No, let him bare his teeth and stare at us, cause a scene and make a fuss. Don't fall for that scary stuff Don't let him in to huff and puff Cause you are no red riding hood And wolf is trouble passing through I've heard you growl, I've seen you bite Wolf won't be you in Wolf won't be you in Thank you. Well, we're gonna we're gonna finish up with a song I wrote a long time ago about something we do a lot, which is driving home after everybody else is asleep. And uh, especially in the summer, it's a great time to be driving because you have uh, hot days and it just feels good to be out there. I used to have a convertible. A long time ago, I had a midlife crisis, and I didn't know what to do, but I, I Googled it, right? <laughs> and um, I, f I found out that you, you either get a convertible or you get like a 22-year-old girlfriend. <laughs> um, 
So my wife and I, we sat down and talked about it because we talk about everything. And um, we decided to get a convertible. <laughs> Which was good because I had a convertible for like 10 years. I probably would only had a girlfriend for maybe, you know, six months, if that. And um, so one night I'm, I'm driving that car and it's late and I'm going through Groton actually because I was driving from New Hampshire back home. And I heard the sound like rolling thunder coming up behind me and it was a kid in a, in a Honda Civic with a big, big, those big tailpipes they put on there and the wheels are low and all this stuff. And he pulls up beside me at the stop sign and says, hey, nice car, old man. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't put him in the song. This song is called Late at Night. <laughs> thanks for listening and thanks Cheryl for inviting yes, us. Yes, thank you. It was wonderful to hear time. you all too. Great. Thank you. Driving home late at night to little New England towns. Everyone's lights out, the fast asleep. This town settled down. I dropped to third gear, I'm slowing down, though there's no one on the streets. The sign says 30, there's no cops around. This isn't tonight's beat. And I love the air late at night. And the sound of quiet, and the world seems all house with one light on someone's peering through the door stands to watch me passing by shuts the light and closes the door and I wonder what this person does and how they spend their days where he works and who he loves does he ever pass my way? And I love the air late at night The sound of quiet And the world seems alright The stars pass overhead moon sits on a hill and I pass people I don't know and I don't think ever will it's quiet here late at night it's not like in the day it's time to breathe there's time to think and quiet time to pray and I love the air late at night The sound of quiet and the world seems alright Thank you everybody Thanks everybody, thanks for listening Thank you Cheryl Well, hey, hey, winter go away. It's friggin' May and I'm going insane. Hanging indoors and watching it rain. Is that snow or a soggy snowflake? It's 40 degrees, cloudy and gray. Enough already, it's Memorial Day. Waiting for the warmth to come moving and stay. Take off my clothes and jump in a lake Cause I got a fever, hear my warning 
Got a fever for some global, global warming. Mm, global warming, bring it on. Global warming, need it. Cut down the redwoods and light the coal fires. Buy an SUV and run it all night. Miami, come to the Jersey Shore. Bahama Mama's out on Martha's Vineyard. Cause I got a fever. Hear my warning. Got a fever for some global, global warming. Global warming, bring it on. It's always this way New England weather sucks And a story Cause I got a fever Hear my warning Got a fever for some global Yeah Warm it up I have a vision I have a dream All the icebergs melting And I see Yacht pulling up next to my house in Framingham. God Almighty, won't you send us sunshine? Send it to us by the 4th of July. Cause got a fever. Hear my warning. Got a fever for some global, global warming. Thanks. Peach and pear, apricot, then this.